Hello, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome to an episode of Page Ahead's Video Storytime. My name is Enrique, and I'm going to read you a book. The name of the book is Lizard from the Park, and it was written and illustrated by Mark Pitt. Let's get reading. Like most days, Leonard walked home by himself. On this particular spring afternoon, he took a shortcut through the park. When he got to the deepest, darkest part of the park, Leonard spotted something. It was an egg, and it was unlike any egg Leonard had seen before. Leonard put the egg in his backpack zipped it up, and carried it home. He took it to his apartment, which was on the top floor of a very tall building. In his room, Leonard and the egg played together for the entire afternoon. That night, Leonard held the egg close as he fell asleep. In the morning, Leonard noticed something. The egg began to jiggle and crack. Then a nose busted through the shell. It was a lizard. Leonard watched as the lizard busted through the rest of the shell. Then Leonard made a decision. He named the lizard Buster. Leonard couldn't wait to show his new friend the world outside. He and Buster spent the whole day exploring Leonard's favorite places in the city. In the weeks following, Leonard took Buster everywhere. They spent their mornings together, their afternoons together, and they spent their in-betweens together. As spring turned to summer, Leonard realized something. Not only did Buster keep growing, and growing, and growing, but he seemed to be enjoying himself less and less. Meanwhile, the bigger Buster got, the more Leonard had to disguise him so he would fit in among the city crowds. It soon became impossible. So Leonard decided to keep Buster in his room. Buster didn't seem to like that either. After a while, Buster grew too big even for Leonard's room. Leonard moved him to the roof, though he knew it was only a matter of time before Buster would outgrow that too. Leonard found himself in a very difficult situation. Finally, he had an idea. He gathered every balloon he could find in the city. Red ones, shiny ones. Balloons shaped like animals. He filled his entire room. On the day of the big parade, noisy crowds gathered in the streets below. Leonard heard music. Then he saw the giant balloons. Soon, the parade reached his building. Leonard and Buster joined in. When they reached the park, Leonard and Buster floated away from the parade and sat down gently near the deepest, darkest part of the park, where Buster joined his family. Sometimes Leonard still cuts through the park on his way home, and sometimes he takes a new way. The End well, that was a fun book, don't you think? I think Leonard had quite an imagination. I want to thank you for joining me to read this book today. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Till next time, take care and keep reading.